Hey guys, Girlforce Online here to bring you another one of my challenges. So I did a challenge a little while ago to showcase how many damage shields I can have at the same time and received a few comments saying how I can improve upon this and um, one of them is using light armor which I didn't use last time and um, the new skill setup for Markarth and there's one skill that I just completely forgot about. So this is my updated version with a total of 16 damage shields that I can activate through the skill. So let's take a look. So on the back bar, I'm using Unstable Wall of Frost. So with the Mark Art DLC, it actually gives you and anybody in the area damage shield, but the damage shield only applies to arranged attacks. So when you activate the skill, you get about a 6k damage shield there, and when the skill ends, you get another 4k damage shield for six seconds so a very nice improvement for the frost staff tanking the next one i have here is annulment so that's the armor skill it's one i didn't have last time so this grants me a 10k damage shield for six seconds then siege weapon shield so that's from the alliance war skill so technically it's not a damage shield i'm not going to count it but i had a flex spot open so i thought i'd put that in then the Dragonfire Scale, um, again, doesn't really count as a damage shield. It just reduces the damage taken from projectiles. And then last one here is Vigor. So I'm using healing to activate one of the damage shields on my sets. So that's why the skill is there. And then Reviving Barrier, the ultimate from the support skill in the Alliance War. So very nice skill there. Grants me a 31k damage shield and it also heals for about 12k over 15 seconds so then on the front bar um, using sword and board so first one here is defensive posture so that gives me a 6k damage shield there for six seconds um, just worth noting my health is not very high that's why these shields aren't performing as well uh, next one here is the undaunted um, shield so that's about 6k damage shield as well for six seconds then I've got the Hardened Armor, which grants me a Major Resolve and Ward, and also gives me a Damage Shield for about 3k for 6 seconds. And then this is a skill I've missed out on last time, um, which is the Shielded Assault from the Sword and Board skill line. So when I attack using this skill, I get a 3k Damage Shield for 6 seconds. And then Igneous Shield, one of the class skills that gives me a Damage Shield for six seconds as well oh, so eight seconds there and the last one here is the undaunted oh sorry psychic order temporal guard so when i block um, i gain a damage shield so it's one of the passives so when i block i gain a 6200 damage shield there as well so then on my setup, um, first one I have here is same as last time. Um, so when I use a charging ability, so this can be a medium or a heavy attack with my staff, I gain a 6k damage shield for 6 seconds. Um, this is the new one, so this is a light armor set compared to the heavy one I used last time. Um, the reason I'm using light here is so I can use the annulment shield as well. So if I overheal myself, which I would do with Vigor, uh, I gain a 6k damage shield for 2 seconds, and this can activate once every 2 seconds. So very nice set there. And the last one is Hatching Shell, same as last time. So it gives me a damage shield with 24% of my max health. Now looking at my resources, a lot more unbalanced than the last build, but that's just to take as many damage shields as I can. So 30k max magicka, only 17k health and 19k stamina so this very low health pool but for damage shields you need to have a higher health pool if you're going to use this in actual combat but this is just proof of concept all right and then the champion system in the steed at 120 um, if i'm blocking then i gain a damage shield for 1500 for three seconds and then also in the Lord for 120 points, I gain a damage shield for 1,500 if I drink a potion. Alrighty, I um, think that is all of them. Ah, oh, yes, the um, ones I forget. So I'm using an Ice Staff, so a heavy attack from an Ice Staff will also give me a damage shield. And I've got a damage shield glyph on the Ice Staff, so that gives me a 5,300 damage shield as well. 
So that all up, make sure I got everything, should add up to that 16 damage shields all up, which is ridiculous. So I can cover my health bar about three times over with, over with the amount of damage shields I'm using. So let's take a look. So first one there is the wall, so you see the damage shield that it gives me there. Um, annulment, which is a 10k damage shield, using that heavy attack. I get two damage shields for that one, one for the enchantment, actually three damage shields, one for the passive, one for the enchantment, and then one for the um, heavy attack. Then when I'm using healing, I get another damage shield there. You see it refreshes there a few times as well. And then the ultimate as well, but that's just going to give me a massive damage shield, so I won't be able to show the other ones. So once I drink a potion, I get another damage shield there as well. So now on the front bar, I've got the Sword and Board shield, I've got the Undaunted shield, I've got the Heart and Armor, then I'm using the Igneous shield there, so it's another magic shield there, and then the Charge. So it charges, as soon as it hits, then I get a damage shield as well. And then when I'm blocking, I get the Sigic Order skill shield, and then the um, passive from the Champion Point system as well. So, like you see guys, a lot of times my health bar gets completely covered. Um, not really a viable build, more just proof of concept of all the damage shields out there. Um, but if you use variations of these, a lot more balanced build, it will come through very nicely. So when I activate that ultimate, pretty much covers right over my health bar as well. Anyway, thanks for listening guys. If you like the content I'm putting out, please hit that like and subscribe. If you have any ideas for challenges I need to do in the future, please let me know in the comments down below. Take care and be safe. Bye.